Hi, this is Satish. Welcome to Satya Technologies. Now we can discuss the version control tools like SVN and Git. Here SVN is a centralized version control system and if you go with this Git, Git is a distributed version control system. Okay. If you see this basic differences, okay, for this centralized and distributed version control systems. In case of centralized, we have a central repository where multiple developers will add their code for central repository. Okay. But to go with this distributed version control system, every developer will have their own local repository. Okay. So first they will add their code for this local repository, then they will commit the code for central repository. Okay. So in case of centralized, if you lost this network, then developers may not add their code for central repository. But if we go with this distributed, so even if you lost this network, developers can add their code for local repository. Okay. So now we can see like how this SVN like centralized version control tool will work. Okay. So here SVN is a subversion is a centralized SEM like software configuration management system or you can say source code management system. Okay. So here multiple developers will add their code for central repository. Okay. So it allows to track changes and concurrent development on same files. That is multiple developers will work for the project at the same time. Okay. Now we can see what is the need for this version control systems. Allow developers to work simultaneously. That is multiple developers will work at the same time and do not override each other changes. Okay. If multiple developers will add their code for central repository, okay so we have to maintain their history okay and we we should not override their code and one more thing maintain history of every version of everything okay so in case of centralized version control system here we have a central repository okay and every developer will have their own working copy here what is working copy the working copy is a private workplace okay so where the developer will maintain their source code okay so as a new developer first we have to get the code from central repository okay here checkout is a command to get the code from central repository okay so once we got the code that code we can modify at working copy then the modified code we can add to central repository Okay, here commit is a process of adding the code to central repository. Okay, so once we commit the code, then other developers can get the code by updating their working copy. Okay, so if you see this case here, so developer one is added a file like uh, some demo.java. Okay, then uh, other developers can get the code by updating the working copy okay now we have a question like when to use this checkout and update okay so if you want to get a copy of repository then we can use a command like checkout okay or if you go with this update to get other developer changes okay so already I have a working copy but I want to get other developers changes the new changes then I will go for update. Okay. So it is about a centralized version control system. And if you go with this distributed version control system like Git. Okay. Git is an open source distributed version control designed to handle everything from small to very large project with speed and efficiency. Okay. So if you compare with this SVN. So git performance is high. Okay. 
So here git will contains its own local repository so it can maintain the code. And git is a distributed version control and source code management system with an emphasis on speed. Okay. Next one. What are different layers in git? In case of SVN, we have two different layers. We were discussed. One is like a central repository and the users working area. But if you go with this git, so git will contains multiple layers. Okay. So if you see this git layers, like remote repository, local repository, index area and working directory. Okay. Now here, these three layers will present in user environment. Okay. So for this current user environment, so we have these three different layers. Okay. So first the developers will get the code from central repository. Okay. So here we can use a command like clone. So clone is a process of retrieving the code from central repository. Okay. So once we got the code, that code we can modify at working directory. Then the code we can add to index area. This index area can also call as a stage area. Okay. So we can stage the code. Then we can add the code for local repository. Okay. So here we can use a command like commit. Okay. With this commit, we can add our code for local repository. Okay. Then the code we can save in our central repository by the command like push. Okay. Here I will consider GitHub as a central repository. Okay. So here I will maintain my code at this central repository or remote repository. Okay. Then if you see this command like fetch, so with this fetch command, we can get the code up to local repository. Okay. And then checkout is a command to revert changes. So if you want to revert the changes or cancel the changes, you can use a command like checkout. And then pull is a command to get the other developers changes. Okay. So in Git, we have multiple layers. Okay. So with these things, we can maintain the code at this repository. Now we can compare these two version control systems like SVN and Git. Okay. You can just go with the slide. It's like one is SVN subversion and next one Git. Okay. See this process here. Fetch or clone. So in case of git, how we'll get the code? We can use the commands like fetch or clone. Okay. So create a copy of remote repository. And compared to CVS, CVS stands for centralized version control system. We know this SVN is a centralized version control system. Okay. So compared to CVS, it is checkout. Okay. You need to check out here. Then once we got this code, the code we can modify. Okay. So we can modify the files in local branch. And then we can move the files into stage area. Okay. So we are discussed that in Git we have a stage area or the index area. But if we go with this subversion like SVN, so there is no stage area. Okay. So no CVS comparison. Okay. Then we can commit the files into local repository. Okay. And if you go with this SVN, so we don't have any local repository. Then we can push the changes to remote repository. Okay. So whereas in SVN subversion, it is commit. Okay. So in this case, we can just compare these two version control systems. Okay. Now we can see the complete data flow in Git. So Git contains different layers. One is like workspace or working area, stage area, 
local repository and remote repository okay so we are discussed that the developers can get the code from central repository so by using command like clone okay or else you can use a command like fetch but by using the fetch we can get the code up to local repository okay then we can modify the code that modified code we can add to stage area okay then we can add the code from stage area to local repository by the command what commit okay here we can directly add the code from workspace to local repository by using command called commit hyphen a okay then if you want to move the code to central repository then we can use a command like push okay here checkout is a command to revert changes so if you want to revert the changes or cancel the changes we can use checkout and we can use a command like reset so it is used to unstage the code okay so the the code what is available in stage area so we can get it back okay next one diff is a command to do this code comparison okay here the question is what is head so head denotes the most recent commit okay so in git repository we can have multiple commit ids okay a commit id is a combination of some alpha numeric values okay so here head will represents a recent commit id okay so in a single branch we can have multiple commits okay is clear for you so here we have the workspace and stage area local repository and remote repository so we can get the code from remote remote repository we can modify it then the modified code we can add to stage area and then we can save the code into local repository finally the code will push to central repository okay now we can see this git terminology so git will contains a repository okay so git repository as a directory that stores all files folders contents needed for your project okay so you can say a repository is a central area so where the developers will add their code next one branch what is branch a version of repository that diverges from the main working project okay and branches can be new version of repository okay so if you go with this branches one is a master branch okay so in master branch so the developer can maintain the code and we can create some other branches so we can say the branches are the parallel developments for repository okay so whenever we want to develop some new features then we can create a new branch okay if we do any changes in this branches we can get the commit ids okay so commit ids are some combination of alpha numeric values okay so each commit will contains a specific id and un unique id the code what we develop in branch can merge to master so here master is a primary branch so where the total development will maintains and here head will always represents the most recent commit okay and checkout is a command to switch between two branches like we can switch we can switch from either master to branch or branch to master okay so if you go with this terminology for git so a branch is a version of repository that diverges from main working project a next one clone we are discussed that a clone is a copy of repository or the action of copying the repository okay 
so we can get the code from center repository by the command like clone next we have discussed that master so master is a primary branch of all repository so all committed and accepted changes should be on master branch okay so you can work directly from master branch or create other branches next one checkout okay so here checkout the git checkout is a command to use to switch branches in repository okay in git we can use checkout command even to revert the code changes okay next one merge what is merge here we will get the changes like taking the changes from one branch and adding them into another branch okay so these are some different components in git repository okay if you go with this svn subversion here we have trunk okay and branch and then tags if you go with this git here we have master branch and then tags so in case of svn we can specify the things as a trunk so trunk is a main development area okay and if you go with this branch branches are the parallel development or you can say another line of development next one tags tags are the named snapshots and if you go with this git here master is a primary branch okay so master is a primary branch and we can have the other branches okay so the master branch can contains some normal branches the question is when to go for branches if you want to develop any new feature okay then we can create some multiple branches okay and the question is what is tag a tag is a named snapshot okay so we cannot remember the changes with the help of commit ids okay so we can provide some unique name by using tags okay so tags are the named snapshots for commits okay thank you and we can create an account in github okay so if you want to maintain the code at github so we can create an account okay so here we have to sign up this account okay here you can provide some user id and some email id and password so we can create an account then we can create a new repository okay so i said it's like my repository like some satya devops okay is my owner and a new repository like some my project okay here we have some options like uh, to go with either public or private repository okay then i will initialize every repository with a file called readme.md okay so uh, the readme.md file will contain some metadata okay that is the information about repository okay then finally we can create a project okay so once we create the project or repository in git so it can maintain through git okay thank you